memory. Everyone benefits from having a good memory, right? You study for a maths exam and you remember facts and figures and you're all ready for the big day. You remember what time you should be there. You remember to take a pen. You remember all those facts and figures and you write a dazzling paper. The examiners are stunned by your dazzling math skills and give you an A++ with distinction. What about the kinds of memory you get in a computer system? How do they work and how do they store data? Firstly, let's talk about volatile memory and non-volatile memory. Volatile memory relies on a power source to store information, rather like you needing to concentrate so that facts sink in. If you don't pay attention in class or you have a really bad memory, facts will go in one ear and out the other and you won't remember a thing. It's the same with volatile memory. As soon as you switch off, all that information is lost. Non-volatile memory remains in place even when... Do you like what you see? Click the link at the bottom of this video to find out more about revision.